Consider the random experiment of rolling two dice and observing the phase on each. Define the random variable y, the sum of the two phases. Find the probability mass function of y. First, we need to understand the sample space of this. So, what is the sample space of rolling two dice? We know this is the sample space of that. So, then go to the y. So, y is the sum of the two phases. First, we need to define the or find the support of y. So, let me write down the support of y. How do we find the support of y? I use uh, R here. So, support of y. Right, go to the first element of the S. For sample is base 1, 1. So, y, the sum of the two bases. So, what is that number? 1 plus 1 is 2. Here, 1 plus 2 is 3. Similarly, we can get the whole numbers. 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right. Now we know uh, what are the numbers of the uh, support. Right. So we have 3, actually 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, this is the support of y. Right. Now, how do we find the probability mass function of y? Yes. First, let me find the probability mass function of y in tabular form. So, how do we write this? y values and probability of y y values so y values are 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so probability of y how do we find the probability of y here actually we get the probability of y y equal 2 okay y equal 2 so, how many tools we have? You see here, we have one, only one, right? Out of, what is the total? The sample is space, the size of the sample is space, 36. Therefore, 1 over 36. Then, how many trees we have? We have here one tree and here another. That's it, right? Then, 2 over 36, actually 36, right? So, similarly, you can fill the table. 3 over 36, 4 over 36, and 1 over 36. How do we check if this is correct? Yes, add these probabilities. So, this should be 1 if this is legitimate uh, probability model. Yes, it is 1. Right. Then, we can write this one in for as a formula p y y you can check this 1 over 36 6 minus 7 minus y for y values is what are the y values 2 3 up to 12 then otherwise it is 0 okay right we can check it so let me check the value y y equal i just check for the y equal 3 so 1 over 36 6 minus 7 minus 3 right then 4 then 2 right then 2 over 36 you see that so this one equal 2 over 36 yes that is the same value here so if you need to check any number just plug the value for the y then check if this is right so you will see you can get any number 2 to 12 probabilities using this so therefore this is 
at the PMF of Y as a formula. Let me show you uh, how to graph this probability mass function. At the same thing, we know we have y axis and x axis. This is x and this is y axis, right? In the y axis, we have PMA probability mass function. Okay, so in the x axis, we have y values. What are the y values? 2, 3, 4, 11, 12, right? Okay, it is 12. So then here actually we have 1 over 36, 2 over 36, 6 over 36. So y equal to 1 over 36, this one, y equal 3, 2 over 36, and 2 over, and yes, 